that's kind of cool when you have a Super Bowl champ and a Pro Bowler, you know, let you guys know about the process and give you some motivation. If I gotta wake you up to motivate you to change your life financially, your status, the rest of your career, I'm not the right coach for you. Yeah. Hey everybody, on this episode of the Coach Cab Show, I'm gonna give you something different. A lot of you guys have seen the day in the life. Some of you guys have seen a single session. You, you guys have gone through kind of what we've done in a weekend. But what's really cool about this process right now is I wanna take you through what our guys have been doing over the last six to eight weeks, preparing for the NFL Combine. Those guys have been preparing every single day, eight hours a day, getting ready for their pro days. And what I wanna do is kind of give a little credit to some of the guys that have helped us with our program, guys that have been involved like Scott Paltos, right? Mark Rogers, guys that, people that came down, right? And I wanna make sure that you guys get the inside look of what they've done to help our guys and the training that they put in. I also get to see some of the results. Guys, pro days, combines, our guys killed it with a lot of PRs, super proud of them. Love to be a part of that process. But a lot of people don't even realize what went into it, both from the nutrition, the rest, the training, the mental work. Right? There's a lot of things and a lot of components to getting ready for your pro day, which is the most important interview of your entire life. And I want you guys to kind of get an inside look of what our athletes have done and see what they've been a part of. Eldrick five, Mason six, Placid seven. It's gonna be real simple, gentlemen. I'll give you up when we get up there. I'll give you a time frame of how long you have before we start running. And then at that point, we're just gonna, we're gonna keep going. Right hand touch, wrap around figure eight, come back and finish inside the cones. All right, you knock a cone over, time's done. Make yourself feel uncomfortable, because if you're not uncomfortable, you're not growing, all right? There's a challenge for me today, I'm 35 years old, man, all right? The challenge for me should always be a challenge for you to keep pushing past it, get over that wall. My guy from Jersey came out here, yo, my man. <laughs> Solid, bro. <laughs> I want to eat some more. I'll be back again. Appreciate you guys. I gotta get to work, all right? You know, the, the great part that, that I have the pleasure of doing is being able to come here and work with you guys for a few days, leave, and then come back and see the difference of what him and his staff has done, have done for you guys. <clears throat> I can't reiterate enough to you, like Cat just said, you get a chance to make something happen. Whether it works or it doesn't, you get to, for the next few weeks, make yourself that much better. You know, the, the football, and, and this is kind of like a segue to, to where life goes for you guys. Football gives you something that no other sport in this world can do. It can give you a sense of teamwork, it can give you a sense of, of emotion, it gives you a sense of accomplishment, it gives you a sense that you have to work amongst another 11 dudes, another 10 dudes on the field for that moment to make it happen. And that's what really life is. Everybody can look good one time if somebody tells you exactly what to wear. My goal with this is to be like, be aware and hyper aware of what you're going to wear when you're going to Chipotle to get lunch and somebody snaps a picture of you and then that's put on their Instagram. You work hard to be tapered and athletic, so your clothes should address that. Coaches are looking for guys that they can count on. Are you going to be that guy? Don't worry about somebody else's ability. Don't worry about what somebody else is doing. You be accountable to you, but be totally prepared, physically and mentally.
So my man Steve Weatherford stopped by and uh, dropped some message for these guys. Uh, it's kind of cool when you have a Super Bowl champ and a Pro Bowler, you know, let you guys know about the process and give you some motivation. So check it out. Coach Cab, you better tell those those guys that are training for the National Football League that it's a different speed of play, a different type of specimen, a different mindset, a different work ethic in the National Football League. If they want to get what they've never gotten, like the chicks, the cars, the clothes, the chains, if they want to get what they've never gotten, what do they got to do, son? They better do what they've never done. It's time to grind, boys. You're about to have the most important job interview of your entire life. Good luck, guys. That's, that's, that's what I've been working for. You know, since I was a young kid in Tavis, South Carolina, that's what I've been working for. Just the opportunity. I, it don't matter about the money, it don't matter about where it's at, I just want an opportunity. I told my family that how I approached this. This is something that you work for for 15 plus years. This is your, the biggest job interview of your life, and you got to leave everything out on the field. Overheard that you ran a 447. Do you feel that you did? okay today that you did great or how do you feel about today overall uh, you know being a competitor you can never be satisfied but uh i'm more than happy and more than blessed to, uh, to be able to put numbers like that on paper and i uh, just want to improve from here on out and just be able to open up at least one team's eye So I hope you guys got a chance to see what it's like for an athlete that's at the highest level. I mean, it's really interesting the amount of work that they put in just for one day. But you know what? It all makes the difference. And guys, we're looking for just a 10 second difference because this could be a million dollar difference for some of them. So they put the work in, they've earned it. And I want you to know I'm really proud of them. I'm super thankful for the guys that have been involved, whether it had been, you know, just guys that came and talked to the group. You know, our chef, Ed, has been putting time in, time out. Serrano helping with our supplements. Everyone that's kind of putting the time in, from Cody to the rest of the staff has put their work in. You know, I want you to know I really appreciate what they've done. And this is really cool for you guys to see the inside look of what, you know, what they've done for the last, you know, last couple months, get ready for these days. And obviously, you know, for most of them, you know, it, it has really helped them, you know, increase their stock and better yet, you know, they've been able to put their showcase their best stuff on pro day. So I'm really proud of them. I'm looking forward to what they can do on Sundays.